Welcome to the Touchline here on Y254. We're still talking much more about football. We've just watched the highlights of what happened during the week. Big matches are also coming up and we'll be talking about them much later on. But it is that segment where we dedicate it to local football and much more about grassroots football considering that we've got the Sakaja Super Cup that is happening here in Nairobi. We have been promising to talk about this competition. We have just been giving snippets of it mostly on our show but today we are going to talk extensively about the Sakaja Super Cup and joining us to talk about that is none other than Eric Agani and also we've got Ken Andrews here in studio with us. Eric, welcome to the Touchline. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you, Robert. I'm good. Yes. Uh, struggling with the rains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is uh, cats and dogs. Ah, well, yeah. Yesterday was a mess. Uh -huh. Uh, today I've been to the fields. Yes. You see, most of our fields don't have grass. Uh, so no, you can imagine, no, no, no. <laughs> can imagine yes. the games are going on. Eh? Yes. Uh, a bit, uh, with the rains, we are struggling, but uh, basically, uh, the people are happy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ken is also here with us. Your highlight of the week has been which one? It's a highlight or a low light? <laughs> <laughs> low light. <laughs> so it comes to football. Yes. Uh, it has to be around Manchester United uh, uh -huh. being uh, whipped 3 nil by, by, by Newcastle. Yes. It uh, was a low point uh, yeah. to, to me. And yes. uh, that's what stood out in the week. Mm -hmm. uh, not positively, but uh, mm. uh, it remains a fact. Yes. Yeah. Can have a highlight of the week? I think we, we sit in the same <laughs> seat, but uh, you know, I think uh, mm -hmm. it was also great to see the how people have embraced rugby ah, and yes. to see how many people the reactions in this country that came off the rugby world cup final. Yes, people are watching it all over, and so I think it should uh, also give a desire to our players, especially the 15s who have never reached where the sevens have yes to try and you know go for something i know rugby is sort of still in a sticky place especially in the sevens mm -hmm. but you know i think that shows that you can get there you can yeah. get there you can fight because we saw south africa play mm -hmm. how they played in the final they didn't even yes. need try any tries to win mm -hmm. converting everything so you know you can steal strategies from there we have powerful powerful kickers in this yes. country you know naturally Yes. Don't need to do anything to kick mm -hmm. that ball <laughs> all the way up. So you know, <laughs> yeah. you, you know, it c it should give desire to these young players, to someone to one day want to be there. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a big uh, weekend also when it comes to rugby, as Ken has stated, because we've got the Victoria Cup happening tomorrow in Kampala between Uganda and Kenya, and also it marks the start of the Elgon Cup. This one goes way back to the people who watched it. I think the last one we had the Elgon Cup and Victoria Cup was way back in 2010 and it is back on the cards this day. After Uganda's game, it will be back in Kisumu and we'll be seeing how it is going on there. But let's come back to the Sakaja Super Cup and uh, Eric, the thing is uh, for anyone who doesn't know the Sakaja Super Cup, how can you tell us what is actually the Sakaja Super Cup? I think it's a tournament that is ongoing right now on the on the ground across uh, Nairobi. Yes. As uh, you, you realize that uh, Nairobi is divided into constituencies yes. uh, and further on divided into wards. Mm -hmm. So it is a tournament that is being played in each and every constituency. Currently we have 17 constituencies yes. and uh, 85 wards. Mm -hmm. So it's a grassroots tournament uh, that is uh, uh, attaching the common monanchi down there because uh, uh, it is not played in uh, a few stadiums. It is yes. played across the city mm -hmm. uh, in the sense that uh, 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 it's being felt by all the wards. Yes. Uh, you find that uh, the way uh, uh, the governor organized the tournament uh, was really, really brilliant because uh, each and every ward produces four teams. Yes. Uh, four teams. Mm -hmm. Now it's upon the teams within the ward uh, to agree on modalities on how to produce the four teams. So yes. definitely we find that uh, I sample out one of the wards where I have really been involved is Kaha West Ward under mm -hmm. Dr. Clement Kamaru. Mm -hmm. We find that what we did, uh, we have zoned Kaha West into, into different regions. Mm -hmm. So we have committee area, so yes. committee area produces a team. Mm -hmm. So the teams that are within committee area, uh, they go and agree. Yes. Uh, are you going to play a mini league to give uh -huh. us one team? Are you going to combine to mm -hmm. give us your best team? Or you are going uh, to select uh, or you're whatever method you're going to use. So we have Kawa West Sports Association yes. that will sit, sat down mm -hmm. 
and uh, came. And then we have Kamae area. Mm -hmm. Kamae area also produces one team. Yes. And then we have Kiwanja area to mm -hmm. produce one team. And then we have Juakali and Kwari. So we mm -hmm. find that committee agreed and produced committee 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 team. Yes. Uh, it's called committee football mm -hmm. uh, club. Mm -hmm. And then Kamae produced city sports. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, now Kiwanja producing Saints. And uh, the Kwari Juakali area producing uh, Kahawa Pride. Now the four teams uh, join from Kaha West. They come and join Gidurai Ward that has produced four teams. Uh, Roisambo Ward, Zimmerman Ward and Kahawa Ward. So we have a, a total of 20 teams in Roisambo. Yes. Which are pulled uh, basically into two pools. Mm -hmm. Now they play one another. Yes. So you see there's a lot of football happening on the grassroots. And this, whatever is happening in Roisambo has been replicated in Kasarani constituency, mm -hmm. the Goretti constituency, Westlands constituency, uh, the same. So I'm just yes. using Roisambo, Roisambo as a sample. Yes. So you find that uh, now the two pools, mm -hmm. uh, the top teams are the ones now that will progress mm -hmm. to the next level. Yes. So what this tournament has done, it mm -hmm. has given people a chance to now witness grassroots mm -hmm. football. Yes. Because again, it has uh, uh, also uh, had an impact on these teams because the yes. teams that were produced mm -hmm. were kitted by the governor. Yes. Uh, okay. So the, the, the issue of uniform, uh, all, all from the socks. All the teams uh, yes. were kitted by the yes, governor. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you see, yeah. now those teams, uh, I think they were given two pairs of uniform uh, each. Yes. Yes. Uh, so you find that that's a plus because uh, most of these teams that were produced have been playing the National League, mm -hmm. uh, the sub-county league, uh -huh, uh, the, yes. the county league. The county league yeah. So you find that they, they've been struggling. Yes. And uh, the governor to us, uh, mm -hmm. has, uh, uh, from now, uh, people who are involved in grassroots football has really, really assisted us. Yes. Uh, because they've been struggling uh, with the uh, uniform. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now they have at least two pairs yes. of, uh, of uniform. Mm -hmm. So that was another advantage. Yeah. And then now you find that uh, each constituency uh, they have two grounds where these games are being played. Yes. Uh, going back to example again, we have mm -hmm. the Gidurai uh, 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 ground mm -hmm. and Mahiga Primary. Uh -huh. Yeah. So in each constituency, those games are being played. G Gidurai is like a community ground. It's a community ground. Eh? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Mahiga is a is a, is a primary a school. school. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we, we, we where there's no community ground, mm -hmm. uh, we use now the primary schools or the secondary school. Yes. Uh, because uh, when Mahiga was still being made, uh, we used committee grounds. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so there's that coordination between yeah. now uh, the locals mm -hmm. and uh, the county government. The county government. Yeah. Uh, you see, w when the, this thing uh, was launched actually here in Nairobi by the governor and people came in, uh -huh. w one key point that came out was also the support that uh, Football Kenya Federation yes. was going to bring in yes. to this uh, tournament. Uh -huh. As a federation of that runs football here in Kenya, how has it come in to help uh, the Super Cup uh, going on? Uh, the federation has come in in, in in different ways. First and foremost is technical advice. Mm -hmm. Because yes. you see now, the federation has been charged with the responsibility of organizing football in the whole country. Yes. So they give technical advice to, 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 to us, yeah. who are coordinators, mm -hmm. because we have coordinators uh, now from the county side, from the ward level all the way to the county yes. level. Mm -hmm. So coordination in terms of uh, fixtures, mm -hmm. coming up with the fixtures is not an easy thing. Yes. And then also offi officiating of those matches. Yes. Because uh, the, the referees we are using are, are FIFA accredited. And those ones are registered with the FKF. Yes. So FKF has also uh, ha has a list of the referees. Mm -hmm. So who will, who, which officials will man which field? Yeah. And uh, they're also monitoring mm -hmm. uh, as as the, as, the, as the games go on. Yes. Uh, they walk. They have the officials walking around, uh, monitoring uh, to see that whatever rules mm -hmm. that are supposed to be adhered to are being adhered to. Yeah. But uh, most importantly, uh, the technical advice has been uh, really, really greatly yeah. uh, appreciated from the county side. Well, because these are actually many matches, uh, 340 teams uh, that are going to play. Yeah. And w when is the climax of the tournament? Uh, I think uh, the finals are some, some time in December, just before Christmas, around December 15th, mm -hmm. where we have the, the finals. Mm -hmm. And Mark you, Robert, this is uh, now men. 
Yes. And the women, it's also supposed to be rolled out. Yeah. So you see, uh, this was like uh, a pioneer. Yes. We see what challenges are there. Mm -hmm. We tackle them, we deal with them. Yes. So that now, uh, in the subsequent years, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have these tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, this tournament now having the men's side and the women's side. Yes. And then uh, maybe what the governor, his vision, according to what I understood him, was saying that uh, after, by the third year, because this is the first year, yes. by the third year, we introduced different categories. Yeah. You have above 35, mm -hmm. uh, those who retired, yes. uh, teams are waze. Waze. they also play, we have young people, young, mm -hmm. young kids, because you see, mm -hmm. uh, this tournament is coming at the right time because it's over the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, you see this where now most of our young people engage in vices, different vices. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's a big one. Ken, from your side, what do you make of grassroots football so far when you look at these tournaments that are actually coming up and mostly targeting the youths in this country? I think uh, they are one of the best things we could have at the moment because uh, you look at uh, the, the mainstream leagues from uh, the Premier League to NSL and everything. I, don't, I think it's not enough for everyone to get an opportunity. But this tournament has really done that. You look at the number of teams that have been registered to play. I think it's a lot. And also you look at the end and, uh, you know, because uh, I have interacted with our people, uh, some of the teams that play there, I know people from uh, Kibra Golf Course. Yeah. Yes. I know uh, uh, my, my people are there, and you know, one thing that stands out for them is the prize money. You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, really, really really prize money is everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, mm -hmm. it's, also, it's also a good motivation. Yes. Because, you know, if you can play in grassroots and mm -hmm. win that amount, you know, yes. sets up your team really, really good mm -hmm. in coming years. So, w mm -hmm. one thing I'd like to see is, uh, you know, connected to the the prize money here is you know FKF you know are seeing this yes are seeing the money that you know this team would win and we know last mm -hmm. season they had problems with the funding goal for their prize money yes and we know we can expect something similar this season maybe yes. mm -hmm. so I think maybe as they are uh, working with the organizers to teach them some things in fixtures maybe mm -hmm. they can also learn and maybe they can contact the governor's office you know yes. find out how they can seek the funds mm -hmm. to to you know give a better prize money and everything yes. and uh, you see all the teams have been gi given kids mm -hmm. so i think also for them because people have been watching them from the outside and say fkf have missed you and here mm -hmm. i think they can also learn from you mm -hmm. from yeah. the sakaja super cup mm -hmm. because also there are there are leagues mm -hmm. sometimes the division div one and div two some teams do not have the finances to go to the nsl or the the, yes. the, the league above them mm -hmm. you know maybe this could be the chance to mm -hmm. to learn how to sort those problems mm -hmm. And you know, try to iron out issues in our grassroots. Uh, one thing I, ca I can ask, actually, Eric, as someone who has been now associating with these youths at a one on one basis, I can say, because you are there organizing and everything and seeing it now come into play, coming into function. What are some of the lessons you have picked up from how this uh, tournament is organized and how these youths are embracing this tournament? I think the first, the first thing that has really caught me today, uh, I actually got a little bit late because I was at Mahida uh, uh, Primary, yes. uh, is uh, our young people love football so much. Yes. I uh, just went in through the initiative of Dr. Clement also in support of that, so I was taking some water and yes. glucose for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, something caught my eye. Mm -hmm. uh, City Sports, one of our teams, was getting into uh, to play. Yes. These games begin at 10 a.m. Yeah. Uh -huh. in, in the morning. In the morning. Yeah. In one day we have like four games: 10 a.m., 12, 2, and then 4. Yes. And uh, these young men, uh -huh. uh, they have changed and they are there. And the coach is telling me, "You see, I've just got some bananas, uh, mm -hmm. to give these guys because they haven't taken lunch." Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Look at the, f the love for, yeah. for the game. Yes. They, they haven't taken lunch. Uh -huh. uh, they are coming from harsh backgrounds, humble uh -huh. backgrounds. Uh, that is lesson number one, mm -hmm. that our young people love sports and love football so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we support them, yes, and if we have so many of these, we have so many leaders here, mm -hmm. and uh, since uh, uh, the leaders can take, the political leaders can take initiative mm -hmm. and, uh, and start such kind of things, because mm -hmm. uh, as Ken Andrews has said, the prize money, yeah. every team is looking at that three million. Yes. And they're looking at that three million as a team to improve their lives. Yes. Uh, and uh, the runners-up, I think, is two million, and mm -hmm. then number three is one million. Yes. 
Uh, so you see, they're looking at that. Mm -hmm. If we can have these leaders coming in, let's see yeah. Funa come up and start mm -hmm. his tournament. Mm -hmm. Let uh, Pesalis come up and start. Mm -hmm. And then it trickles down to area MCS, yes. MPs and area MCS. Mm -hmm. So that in May, you're playing a tournament. In August, mm -hmm. you're playing a tournament. In, uh, in, um, in, uh, in, in December, you're playing a tournament. Yes. Uh, I've also learned that uh, now through interaction, mm -hmm. that our people, our young people, are really, really, really talented. Yes. Uh, it's just exposure. Mm -hmm. And I believe these tournaments, when we play many of them, yes. these young people, these young boys and girls, they will be noticed. Uh -huh. yes. And you see, uh, uh, it will be a motivation to them when one of them is picked. Mm -hmm. The others will uh, look at it and say, I want to be like so and so. Yes. And, uh, uh, and you see, and then lastly also, yeah. uh, football in Kenya is a unifying factor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, race aside, mm -hmm. tribe aside, Side. Uh, now, not only the players on the field, but the mm -hmm. fans also. Yes. They've come there to support. Uh, last weekend, I was at uh, Gidurai, the community field. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, Robert, the field was packed. Packed, yeah. And, uh, and uh, you see, for the love of the game, mm -hmm. uh, there was even some commentary was going on. Mm -hmm. Local, local, common, local, local talent, comment, uh, yes. Uh, a gentleman called, uh, he calls himself handsome boy. Mm -hmm. He's doing a brilliant job eh, yes. in terms of commentary mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you just love the environment. Yes. Uh, and you see, uh, 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 that's a unifying thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, a recreational facility. Mm -hmm. And the guys were there from 10. Yes. <coughs> Crowd. Mm -hmm. People come from the church, they mm -hmm. join in. It was on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, yes. I left, I, I went there at around 2. Mm -hmm. The crowd was parked. I couldn't even find somewhere to park, somewhere yes. to sit. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that tells you something about uh, uh, grassroots football. Yes. If we can support it, mm -hmm. it is the beginning mm -hmm. of everything. And yes. even if you look at uh, 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 abroad, you'll find that uh, uh, people support their teams from the ground. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the, the, those teams that are playing down there, mm -hmm. they have fans. Yeah. Childhood fans. They have grown supporting them. Loyal. Loyal fans. Yeah. And, and, and you see, mm -hmm. that, that, that creates now support for this team because support will not come only in the fan, fanatical base. Yes. But also sponsors mm -hmm. will come. Yeah. And, uh, and local businesses yes. will want to support those teams mm -hmm. uh, to yes. see what you require. Your players require boots, your players require these. Yes. Uh, they will come in and support. Mm -hmm. And you see, in the, pro in the process, we'll grow mm -hmm. local food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a big one there, and I saw that team, Roy Sambu, in match day three, Roy Sambu FC drew 2-2 two -two with the City Sports. Yes. Roy Sambu getting their goals from Anthony Moteno in the 55th minute, and match Ishmael in the 86th minute as City Sports scored courtesy of a first-minute goal by Omondi Kennedy and a late strike by Ngugi Stephen in the 80th. Minute. So big games that were going there. We also got a lot of fixtures. We'll be reading some of them as we go on. Right. In Kibra subcounty, we had AXA FC won by one goal over Mashimoni as Interbase FC drew 2-2 two -two with the Kenya Science Bowlers. Line Saba beat Casablanca 1-0 while Katwe Kerali Stars played, settled on a goalless draw with the Golf Coast United. In Ruaraka, Green Rabbits were beaten by two goals to one by Royal Stars. Well, Ken, this shows how much talent that we have got actually in the country. And this is just in Nairobi alone. And not even, if you could have said, let every now word bring all the teams that they have got. <laughs> Actually, it was even really a challenge, yes, yeah? coming up with the four teams. Yeah? Yes, There's uh, a lot of tag of war. And yes. there are some teams like, uh, who still, uh, yes. like in my area, who yes. still feel they were short change. Like, uh, yeah. like uh, we have uh, a team in Zimmerman called Bulldogs. Yes. Uh, they really wanted to be there. Uh, as a bulldog. As bulldog. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have a team in Kamai in our area called ABC. Mm -hmm. uh, and you see, yeah. uh, that's... We have so many teams that wanted to be there. Yes. And uh, you see the teams that are already there, mm -hmm. and uh, they, as you are mentioning, the results. Yeah. Actually, if you look at, for example, the teams to beat, we have Gas. Uh -huh. Idrai yes. Stars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it has won all its games. Yeah. Uh, we have committee also. Mm -hmm. uh, has won all their games. Yes. Uh, those are the teams to watch uh, from that area. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it shows how much talent that we have in this country, and the big question is, how can we harness now this talent? to make yeah. it the best of the best for Kenya. Yeah, I think uh, this is a really good initiative because uh, the Sakaja Super Cup, everyone the organizing party of it is doing a good job for the 
Premier League and uh, NSL teams because they now know where to go and scout. Yes. You know, it has been centralized. You know, if these teams are playing here, you can send a person to look at the guys. Mm -hmm. And also, the players who are supposed to be integrated are also being, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, they're learning how to play in competition mm -hmm. that, that has, a, you know, a serious prize at the end. Yes. Because sometimes you may be playing in these uh, local tournaments and they do not, you know, at the end you, you may walk home without anything. But now, you know, they're learning to play with a grand goal at the end. I yes. think it's a really good thing, but especially for the scouting because we had been dependent on uh, the, the high school games and all, but you know this in Nairobi, the Nairobi yes. best sides, sides like Karyobangi Sharks, uh, Madara United went down last season, you know, they could be using, you know, this tournament to try and look at who comes for Madara United next season, mm -hmm. the future for them. Because now the talents you wouldn't normally see because you're traveling to play in Mombasa, you're traveling to play, they have been centralized. It's just the club to send scouts, you know, yes. go to Gidorai, go to Kibra, simple. And at the end, they will play at Nyayo and Kasarani. And, you know, centralized positions, you do not even have to, you know, fund it that much for them. Yes. To go to see. So I really wish that they take this opportunity mm -hmm. and try and give these young kids and, uh, you know, youth the opportunity to play for their sides because... As Erika said, the, the youth love football, yes. but there's always a sort of disconnect looking at the number of them who make it from the grassroots clubs, you know, to the Premier League in, in particular seasons, you know. There is yes. sort of a disconnect. So maybe this tournament and subsequent tournaments, because as he said again, you know, let the senator do one, the, the women ref can, can even handle the, the ladies' side for, yes. for this Super Cup, you know. The more they come up, the better for our football. You know, there's a target. Yes. We, we have AFCON in 2027, there's a target to qualify for the World Cup, you know, tournaments like this, yes. grassroots, where people, uh, you know, want to play football, where it has, you know, local talent and local support, you know, this is what will help Kenya push its football agenda. You look at, uh, again, as you were saying, you look at the Sunday League in, in England, you know, even when you reach the Premier League, you are attached to that Sunday League side that, you know, yes. you, you maybe played with your dad and your uncle, mm -hmm. and it's in your heart. Yeah. And that's what this Sakaja Cup can create yeah. in Kenya football. Uh, you talked about uh, your area MCA, Dr. Clement, yes. coming in and uh, trying to support uh, the teams from his own area and everything. Uh, is that the kind of goodwill that uh, the Sakaja Super Cup is getting from the area MCS yeah, and uh, yeah. some of the, the people in the politics? Actually, yeah. uh, uh, I was just singling up uh, out Dr. Clement yeah. uh, because of uh, his love for the community. Yes. Uh, but also, uh, I think uh, I've, I've attended the games in, in, in Roishambu mm -hmm. and I've seen uh, the local leadership coming up. Uh, uh, I was yes. with Sospita, uh, mm -hmm. the area MCA for Roishambu Ward. Mm -hmm. Uh, at a committee two weeks ago yes. uh, when his teams were also playing. Mm -hmm. uh, a week ago, I was with uh, Dionysius Mongi, mm -hmm. the area, MPA, uh, area MCA for Gidurai, mm -hmm. and uh, he was there supporting mm -hmm. uh, his teams. Yes. Uh, Utica Smukiri the same, Kemani Mugo the same. Mm -hmm. uh, so you find that uh, once these MCAs are embracing this, and uh, that, 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 that synergy is really, really important when you get it from the local leadership. Yes. Uh, because uh, you see, uh, 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 as much as uh, the Sakaja Cup have provided, uh, uh, from the Secretariat has provided uniforms, uh, they've provided uh, referees, they've provided uh, balls. But you see, there are some small, small issues like glucose, uh -huh, like yes. uh, water, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, logistics. Because yes. uh, the Zimmerman team is supposed to move from Zimmerman to come and play at Mahiga Primary. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, um, the ADMCAs are coming in. Yes to support that. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling you, City Sports, they are mm -hmm. going into the game, yeah. they haven't taken lunch. Mm -hmm. So you see Dr. Clement comes in and assists here and there. Yes. And um, the, 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 that touch mm -hmm. is, is important. Mm -hmm. And you see, when our leaders now put their political differences aside, mm -hmm. because this is now, we are not in the campaign period. Yes. Uh, we are working for the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we can put our political differences aside mm -hmm. and deliver uh, yes. for the community, Mm -hmm. uh, you find that now, come 2027, yes. even most of them will make it back. Mm -hmm. uh, because you, you will have uh, 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 come down with your community yes. and supported the young people in and terms of projects, in terms of social things like these ones. Yes. And you move forward. Yeah. yeah. And actually known their problems. Known their problems, interacted with them. Yes. Because, uh, you see, 
when you, you interact with them uh, you hear yes what are their challenges mm -hmm. yeah and uh, what well, actually that that is the major thing uh, as we are concluding this segment and uh, le le briefly tell us uh, from what you have seen so far we have just played uh, three match days yes. from what we have seen so far with the three match days we've mm. still got a month and a half yeah. to december mm. when we can actually get on to the finals and the, we have got the draw of the 32 teams yeah. that now Coming will culminate yeah. to bring in the mm. final mm. Uh, this uh, showpiece is it going to be a very good extravaganza come oh. december it's <laughs> It's going <laughs> to be a ride like no other. Because <laughs> uh, I was telling you, yes. uh, if you are a lover of football yes. and uh, you sit in some of those, uh, let, them, let me call them stadiums, yes. uh, in quotes, eh? mm -hmm. <sighs> the environment, eh? yes. uh, you see, it has, it has brought together, I was in Gidorai, it has brought together that drunkard in the market, yes. that uh -huh. Mamamboga, yes. uh, that young man, mm -hmm. and uh, that professional now. Uh, yes. Somebody who goes to the office no, on chain. Sunday, yes. now they are there. Yes. And then again, something that I, I had forgotten to mm. talk about, the ripple effect uh -huh, on the small, yes. small businesses mm. around. Mm -hmm. Because you see, you're talking about 10,000 people, 5,000 people yes. in that crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, those who are selling jugu, those who are selling maindichoma, yes. you see those who are selling sweets, those who are mm -hmm. selling small, small water and small, small things. Eh? Yeah. Uh, it's it's some, somewhere that uh, on Sunday you want to go there and uh, release all the pressure yeah. and laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, we have guys, you know, it's, it's a ride like no other. Yes. And then the talent also, whatever is going on. The yes. uh, these guys are playing some beautiful football yes. uh, uh, on that pitch. And that tells you something, not only now on these boys, mm -hmm. but also we have talent yes. when it comes to coaching. Because you see, this team has been prepared yes. by a coach mm -hmm. uh, who is really talked about. Yes. Uh, by a coach who was put in. So, you see, dealing with the community is not easy. Yeah. You're dealing with a kid who, whose parent fought yesterday, mm -hmm. so they didn't come, he, he didn't sleep at home. Yes. Uh, you're dealing with a kid who has come, didn't take breakfast. Mm -hmm. I, I want to give it to these coaches and the, 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 the TMs of these teams. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think they're doing a brilliant job because now bringing this kid and telling these kids to believe in football. Uh, and uh, that football is what brings them joy. Yes. Uh, it's not an easy thing. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a good ride. It's going to be a good holiday. I think the people of Nairobi uh, will be entertained this holiday. Yes. And uh, uh, now when we come to the later, st the later stages of the tournament, uh, by the time we are getting to the quarterfinals and the finals, mm -hmm. I think uh, you'll see that um, we need to, to be winning the AFCON. Yes. If we can uh, uh, make use of those players eh, and give them an equal opportunity without uh, favoritism, without anything, yes, uh, we will perform well. Well, it's a big one there, the Sakaja Super Cup. The, today is uh, the fourth match day in uh, the Sakaja Super Cup that will be happening all around Nairobi as uh, those teams are actually playing. We've got just five minutes to, to finish this segment and I cannot let you go, Eric, without talking about your favorite team. Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> they are all against uh, Fulham from uh, 3 30 local time here, and uh, it will be a tough afternoon for United. I see the problem is, uh, mm. Robert, mm. The, the joy that the Sakaja Super Cup <laughs> is bringing is now being killed by Manchester United <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah. I, I think, uh, mm. as we were speaking with Kenya off, mm. off the camera, is that uh, Manchester United has issues. Yes. And I want to believe uh, the issue is not with the coach. Uh, the issue is with the structure of the club. Mm -hmm. uh, because you see, uh, we have had uh, Moyes, we had Van Gaal, we had Mourinho, we had uh, Olegana, uh, we had this uh, uh, Ragnik, yeah. now we have uh, Ten Hag, eh? we had Carrick at one given time. Yes. Uh, all these guys can't be wrong. Uh, there's yeah. something with the structure yeah. of the club uh, mm -hmm. that has to change. There's something with the attitude of the players. Uh, that has to change. I was reading today and uh, the players are saying, oh, oh, the coach is too tough. What do you expect? Uh, him to come late and the coach doesn't talk. Yeah. You see, yes. uh, can we take Pep there? Mm -hmm. uh, will all those players be there? Some of those players will be, will be kicked out yes. because uh, take Klopp there. Mm -hmm. Some of those players will be kicked out because rules are rules yeah. and rules must be followed. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, uh, there's, so, there's so much to do with Manchester United that is happening off the pitch yes. than on the pitch. Mm -hmm. uh, the takeover also dragged 
and uh, uh, yes. yeah, 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 dragged, off. and it was messy. You yeah. see, right now you don't, you, know, you don't know what is coming. In there's a lot of confusion, yes. and a lot of uncertainty, mm -hmm. uh, because you don't tell me it's a coach, the same yeah. same coach who, who stabilized things last season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cannot be suffering now. Uh, I don't know there's something about the structure, and then the believer has gone. Mm -hmm. You see, in football, if you have played football, uh, it's about psych and it's about morale and it's about belief. Yes. Uh, I, I, I looked at the players uh, uh, of Manchester United uh, during the international break. Yes. What these players are doing for their national teams, mm -hmm. Rashford included, yes. he played brilliantly for England. Mm -hmm. Maguire played brilliantly for England. England. Yeah. Uh, Bruno played brilliantly for Portugal. Portugal yeah. uh, Ericsson. Yes. <laughs> Over, uh, played brilliantly. Yeah. Casamiro the same. Mm -hmm. Now what happens when now these players come to Manchester United? Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the steam and the confidence has taken a hit yes. and the coach has to find something uh, and um, to do yeah. and do it very fast. Because you see now all the other teams eh, mm -hmm. are believing yes. that they want to play Manchester United right now. Well, they are mm -hmm. confident they can get yes. three points for they can out get. of Manchester United. And you see when you're losing home 3-0 to Newcastle, eh? mm -hmm. And uh, I, 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 that loss really, really, really was very bitter for me because uh, mm -hmm. uh, not only the, 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 the loss, but how we lost the game. Yes. Without an effort, without yeah. anything. And this is not, you're not losing against Man Manchester City. Yes. You're losing against Man Newcastle United, mm -hmm. for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. And there's no attempt, the attempts on goal, mm -hmm. uh, weak, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they are far apart. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't, it doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ken, finally for you, which game will you follow, be following this afternoon and your prediction for these matches today? I think uh, Spurs and Chelsea, I think it's a game that has picked up heat over the years, you know. Yes. Something will always happen. Mm -hmm. We don't expect things to happen. And also how both teams are on, on sort of different trajectories at the moment. Mm -hmm. Chelsea are not that good and spurs you know seem like they want to fly away with it yes and i think it will be an interesting game yeah you know coach coming back to soma club a club mm -hmm. that he has been part of you know uplifting mm -hmm. it to the standards it is on mm -hmm. right now you know mm -hmm. i think it's a it has a really good backstory to mm -hmm. to give a good game and it also has the it's coined as a derby and all mm -hmm. i think it will be a good game yes i think uh chelsea if there's a game that they can show that they can play mm -hmm. with their new squad with their young players with everyone I think it's this game. Yes. If they can be the first ones to stop Spurs, I think that will be really, really good. Yeah. But also now, you, 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 I can look at the United game and, you know, it's the opportunity for them to also try and get back into the league in some way. After losing to City, yes. you have to get that, <laughs> that City easy. and Newcastle. Yeah, you yeah. have yeah. to get that easy game to, yes. you know, you at least get your two, three goals yes. and you feel better a bit. But mm. if you don't beat Fulham, mm -hmm. Dark days ahead for United. <laughs> for you, Eric, which game will be Arsenal following Newcastle. and uh, prediction? Arsenal Newcastle. Yes. Uh, I think uh, it will be a tough game, apart mm -hmm. from now the, the, the Chelsea one. Yes. Arsenal Newcastle will be a tough game because mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is games that like this that now will be able to tell people are Arsenal serious contenders. Ah, yes. Because if they come out with mm -hmm. the three points, eh, mm -hmm. then uh, they can start be taken be, be yes. taken seriously. Because again, why I'm looking at that game? Mm -hmm. Arsenal play a slick kind of football. Yes. Newcastle are playing hard tackles. Uh, so you see, how can Arsenal respond mm -hmm. to a hard tackling opponent? Mm -hmm. And if they can be able to, to rise to the occasion, yes. uh, then we start taking them seriously yeah. as, as title contenders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Erika Ganya here, thanks a lot for coming to talk about the Sakaja Suka. But today, no time for fun zone, but we'll be doing that much more as we go on with the, the touchline. Ken Andrews, thanks a lot for coming. And for everyone who has made this production a success, we say thank you. Good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your viewing here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. This is the touchline.